Controversy leads to more calls for change at the Illinois Prisoner Review Board. WGN political reporter Taman Bradley has that and more on what lawmakers and the governor are saying at the state capitol. After the death of Jaden Perkins, allegedly at the hands of a man released on parole, the Pritzker administration asked the Prisoner Review Board to expand training on domestic violence cases. But Republican lawmakers in Springfield are demanding more. Today, Illinois Senate Republicans proposed a series of reforms to the Illinois Prisoner Review Board. It comes amid backlash the board has received for releasing a man who allegedly stabbed to death 11-year-old Jaden Perkins when the boy tried to protect his mother last month. The suspect, Crisetti Brand, had been granted parole less than 24 hours before the alleged incident. The circumstances around Jaden's death here are, are just horrific. This never should have happened. But at the end of the day, it was the Gov Governor Pritzker's Prison Review Board that released Crisetti Brand. Despite overwhelming evidence, he was dangerous to this family. Last week, in the wake of the controversy, two PBR members, Chair Donald Shelton and Leanne Miller, resigned. But Republicans say Governor Pritzker has appointed board members who are too lenient in granting parole. We're talking about people like the notorious Starbrock killer, people like Paula Sims, multiple cop killers, child molesters, rapists. The GOP lawmakers are proposing the following changes. They want to increase the penalty for violating an order of protection, require the board provide public written notice of release decisions, require PBR notify victims that an inmate is being released, require all members complete yearly domestic violence training, and raise the minimum years of criminal justice experience for appointees. The death of an 11-year-old boy is unbelievably tragic, and under any circumstances, and these especially. Governor Pritzker says evidence shows the Brand case was not given the careful consideration that the victims of domestic violence deserve, and he will work on additional safeguards. But he says Republicans and Democrats will need to work collaboratively to fill vacancies and change policy. The more that uh, people politicize the position, the less likely it is that someone would want to serve in it. And as you know, there have been people in the General Assembly uh, typically the opposite party who have politicized this. In a statement, a spokesman for Governor Pritzker said much of what was proposed by Senate Republicans is already standard practice. Governor Pritzker will have to appoint replacements for the two vacant board seats, and the Senate, controlled by the Democrats, will have the final say. Mike Henry. Thanks, Devon.